Uh, negativity doesn't sell. Mm. But negativity is bound to happen. Mm. And the earlier you think Repeat that way, negativity doesn't sell, but negativity is bound to happen. Because you. as you are moving through your journey in this life, you don't have the art of providence. You don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. All we do know is that there is a man up there who watches all over us. But God himself has a plan. So when you wake up in the morning and you are praying, you're not just praying for a good day. You're not just praying for money. But you are talking to God to be in the midst of all your decisions. You're asking God, you're telling God that God, whatever decision I'm making today, be part of that decision. Don't let me take decisions that are against you. Decisions that you and I agree on. You know, and I like to think, yeah, I think that Jesus is my buddy. We do have conversations, you know. I, I feel I have a personal, she's my, we have a pali pali relationship, you know. So negative things will happen. And even in the Bible, it, it doesn't say that these things won't happen. Sometimes they happen to test your, your faith in God, to test your strength. What I say to people when they are caught up in all of this negative stuff is that you don't allow any crisis to go to waste. If a crisis happens, you must make sure that you are making the best of the crisis. Now, Nana, in a corporate space or in a corporate working environment, do you think that women should be given some special treatment? Ah, you've gone back to this issue again. Um, <clears throat> should women be given special treatment? I think that special treatment is not the the two words I I, I, I will I will go for. The, it, it's called quota right it's called quota so sometimes women ask for a quota and it's because they feel they've been disadvantaged for a long time listen i will not in any way anywhere advocate that mm. someone should occupy a position because of their gender mm. if you if you deserve it mm. if you merit it if you are competent, and that's the most important thing, if you're competent enough to execute a task, you should have it. What I will not kowtow is a situation where a woman is more competent, a woman is more deserving of the opportunity, and it is given to a man because someone is thinking about the biological makeup of a woman mm. do you get what i'm saying yes yes i'm following so in such so it is not special treatment i think the word i'm looking for it is common sense it is common <laughs> sense it goes without saying if your mm. mother is working in an institution and your mother is deserving of the opportunity your mother must get it because your mother is competent enough to execute a task if it is a man who is competent to execute that task, the man should be given the task. I'm not one who will say, oh, because... Uh, no, I won't say that. But of course, you've had situations where people have said... So, for instance, in, in the past, a, a man is given a position and nobody makes a qualm about the position. But if it is given to a woman, you hear people say, hey, can she do that job? Mm. If the woman's brain is sharper and allows her to work properly, the woman should be there. If the man's brain is proper, mm. works sharper, and allows mm. him to make sound decisions to help everybody, the man mm. should be there. But you don't put a woman there because... Whoever is calling the shots feel that the woman, oh, if your partner or what, or partner no more fit, into no, you bring more business. It shouldn't be about beauty, right? It's it's competence. 
Mm. So if the man can do the job, the man should be there. And it is not only women who are sidelined. Men are sidelined as well. I, I, you know, and this is the problem sometimes feminists have with me. That mm. eh, I, don't, I don't believe in feminism. I believe in feminism. I don't believe in stupid ways of achieving equality. I don't believe in fighting men. I don't believe in insulting men to achieve equality. Because mm. there are men. And throughout my career, throughout mm. my career, every single person who has held my hand to make mm. me better was a man, mm. not a woman. Mm. It was a man. Because these men believed in me. They believed mm. that I could do it. I went into the media at the time. They had employed me and three other men for my first job. Three mm. other men. I was the only girl amongst them. And I was the youngest as well. But... Uncle Charlie at GBC realized that I had something special. Mm. I think it's because Uncle Charlie himself loved to read. Mm. And I go into Uncle Charlie's office for meetings, all of us, and I see Uncle Charlie's books. And these were books my father had in his library. And I was mm. reading with my father. So Uncle mm. Charlie just felt that, oh, this girl has something more than these boys. You know, so Uncle mm. Charlie helped me because he saw something in me. He saw some light in me. Mm. It didn't mean that he sidelined the men. He gave mm. the men opportunities as well. You, you, you get it. And I think that is what we must all strive to do. If it is a woman, you think the woman can do it. Maybe not today, but she can do it next week. You help the woman to find her purpose. If it is a man, you f help the man to find it. I don't believe in special treatment for anybody. It is not, the word is not special treatment. It is about opportunities. Give people equal opportunities. If you realize at some point that this person is not pulling their weight, even at that point, you don't give up on them. You, you don't give up on people because others have taken the lead and they are behind. Some of us start slowly. Others start really fast. And again, I must say, and I like to say this a lot, it is not how fast you start, it is how mm. great you finish. Mm. You know, again, repeat it, repeat it again. You don't say repeat it again. Repeat is the same as again. So repeat it uh, or say that again. Repeat uh, again uh, is tautology. Uh, Thank you. I don't want to start correcting your grammar. <laughs> so people, some of us start slowly. Some of us start really fast. You know, it doesn't mean that the fact that you are going slowly, it doesn't mean you will not get there. You will get there. But the most important thing is to realize that I'm a slow learner. I'm a slow starter. If somebody decides to help me, I must tag along and accept that help. And for you helping, you shouldn't think, say, where me buani ya obebaso. Obebaso Yours was to help the person to reach a certain point. Help them to reach their point. Don't mm. think about somebody surpassing you in your quest to help mm. others. It is a wrong mentality. All right. Hey, where you? So, so repeat again. You can't repeat, repeat again. <laughs> Or say it again. <laughs> say it again. Yeah, you can't repeat again. Hey. It's... <laughs> education, how can we empower the ordinary Ghanaian lady or woman? It is not just empower Ghanaian lady. How do you empower Ghanaian Ghanaians? Mm -hmm. You see, I, I have a challenge when you people tend to skew towards a particular gender. It's, mm. it's not fair. Mm. Women must be empowered. Men must be empowered. Everyone mm. must be empowered. It is not just mm. the women. Okay? Mm. So let's just get that out there. So aside education, you know, I think that in this country, we place too much emphasis on education. Mm. Sometimes you are judged based on the school you attended. I think it is ridiculous. You are judged based on the certificate you have. It is ridiculous. You are, ba you are judged based on how many degrees you have. It is ridiculous. There are some people who love to go to school, like me. I love school. I, I enjoy school. The only, th the only thing I hate about school is exam. I don't like exams. 
but I love to learn. I love, I love learning. I love knowledge and every knowledge is power. So if I like school, it doesn't mean that the next person must also love school so much. Basically, if you're able to get through your SHS, Mm. You are not, it is not written anywhere that everyone after SHS must go to University of Ghana or KNUST or University of Education in Winneba or University of Cape Throw Coast. more light is, on that. Throw more light yeah, on that. Throw it is, it is, it is, it is not compulsory. There are people who finish SHS and their dream is to start something on their own. Mm. And if someone decides that I want to be a painter after SHS, I want to be a painter, okay? Mm. I want to be an artist. You shouldn't, you shouldn't mm. look down on that person. Don't look down on people's choices. Do not do that. And so if you come to me and you say that, oh, Nana, but I want to be a journalist. For that one, I will advise that, yeah, mm. you need to get a higher education. Mm. If you say that, Nana, but I want to be a carpenter, I would say that go to the vocational schools, you know, don't go to Legon, don't go to, don't go to any of these, you know, find a vocational school that gives you tailor-made brain, you know, this is what you want to do. And of course, along the line, and this is what I advise people, that take up short courses, um, because you want to go into carpentry, you want to own your business, so take up a course in, for instance, accounting, uh, management, because when you, when you are done with your training, you require, you know, some management skill. You require some leadership skill. You, you need to understand basic accounting if you want to run your own business, you know. So it is not compulsory. Um, so the emphasis there is absolutely ridiculous. And mm. for empowerment, there are various levels of empowerment. And I think people like to focus only on education. There is social empowerment. There is education empowerment. There is political empowerment. You know, there are five of them. Which are the uh, social, political, educational? Uh, the other two, I, don't, I can't quite remember. But there are five types of empowerment. Mm -hmm. Educational empowerment is there. If you want to run a, a community service, you want to go into community work, because that is where your heart is, not passion. You know, because I know people will say, this is my passion. You don't always make so much money from your passion you know mm. i'll come to that later but mm. do what you think is right for you if mm. it means going to the university and you think that will help you that's fine mm. but don't let anyone kick you into thinking that unless or until you go to the university mm. you are not a proper human being that is absolutely ridiculous because there are people who have gone to university have their first degree, have their master's degree, they're still at home without jobs. Mm. There are mm. people who just ended it at SHS3 after their WASI, and today they are running their businesses. So the emphasis shouldn't be so much on education. And I think it also boils down to sometimes parenting that by force, I was talking exactly. about university. And that's Why? a discussion we had from the onset. Yeah. But Why? The parent, it is, it is... the parent child relationship. Yeah, it is, it, is, it is wrong. It is wrong. Mm -hmm. You need to understand your child. Okay, you need to mm -hmm. understand your child. If your child wants to do music, don't send your child to... They do music at University of Education, right? Yes, that's what I want, yeah. Uh-huh. So if your child wants to do music and you absolutely want your child to do, go to mm -hmm. the university, you send them to the right university. Mm -hmm. Don't force your, ch your child to go to University of Ghana to go and read political science when the mm. child wants to do music that is where the child wants to be you know we need we need to be very circumspect in Mana, some of the choices we make don't you think apart from the parents and don't you think it's also uh peer pressure because uh probably my mate wants to go into uh political science i also want to follow him don't you think it's also peer pressure um yes it is true there is peer pressure, but peer pressure is not always wrong. Mm. You know, because we tend to think about the negatives only when we talk about peer pressure. Okay? Uh, so, for instance, if you walk into a room and all your friends are reading a book, and you also pick up a book to read, 
you've been pressurized. There's it's, it's pressure to read as well. Mm. You don't read. You're not reading because your friends are reading, but you realize that when your friends, your friends who like to read more, engage in better conversations than you do. So if you feel that this is a trap your friend is on and your friend is doing remarkably well on that path, there's nothing wrong with learning from your friend. Learn from your friends if they're doing something really positive. Peer pressure is not just about obi and we are not smoking cigarette and all or yes shisha. And so you too, you want to do it. It's not just the negatives. The negatives are there. That is why there is common sense, you know gumption mm. your gumption must lead you to the right path but if you mm. realize that your friends are doing the right thing and it is helping your friends mm. if it will help you why not learn from it as well mm. you, you, you get it so it is not just peer pressure if it is peer pressure i think that that is where parenting comes in as well and i think the one thing that the schools lack as well is career guidance we haven't strengthened career guidance in this country. So the student walks in, first year, um, I want to read political science. The political class science, I am into, you know, there is performing arts. He or she finds himself or herself at the, you know, performing arts class. Not by choice, but career guidance. You get it. Um, I think you're right when you say people are pressured into making certain decisions. But I, I think it goes just beyond that. It's, it's, it behoves the school. That is why it is a school. That is why it is a place of learning. It is a place to shape people. You don't just give and expect them to take away. You must shape people. You know? And the universities must start doing that if they are not already doing it. Nice. Now, now have you shared the same opinion when people say negativity sells? Uh, no, uh, negativity doesn't sell, mm. but negativity is bound to happen. Mm. And the earlier you think it that with, negativity doesn't sell, but negativity is bound to happen because you. as you are moving through your journey in this life, you don't have the art of providence. You don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. All we do know is that there is a man up there who watches all over us. And I know that tomorrow morning, if I wake up, I would have breakfast. I will sit in my car. I'll drive to work. I have a set routine. But God himself has a plan. So when you wake up in the morning and you are praying, you're not just praying for a good day. You're not just praying for money, but you are talking to God to be in the midst of all your decisions. You're asking God, you're telling God that God, whatever decision I'm making today, be part of that decision. Don't let me take decisions that are against you. Decisions that you and I agree on. You know, and I like to think, yeah, I think that Jesus is my buddy. We do have conversations, you know. I, I feel I have a personal, he's my, we have a pali pali relationship, you know. So negative things will happen. And even in the Bible, it, it doesn't say that these things won't happen. Sometimes they happen to test your, your faith in God, to test your strength. What I say to people when they are caught up in all of this negative stuff is that you don't allow any crisis to go to waste. If a crisis happens, you must make sure that you are making the best of the crisis. Don't allow any crisis to go to waste. If you made a mistake in this crisis, you must find a way to turn it around for your good. So that is what I say to people. It doesn't also mean that you should deliberately create negative news. Because I know people who deliberately, deliberately exactly. Exactly. create it. I know people who deliberately give false information to bloggers to post about them just so they will be caught in a storm. But if after the storm your life is still the same, then you are incredibly foolish. You get me? You are incredibly foolish because <laughs> you, 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 don't, you don't create a storm and then complain about how strong it is. If you create it, as you lay your bed, so much you lie in it. If you create it, you must bear, you know, the, the consequences. But don't deliberately. I mean, don't give information to bloggers. Say, oh, can you put this out there about me because I want to trend. That is not reasonable. 
Now, uh, Nana, let me share this experience with you. Uh, we're in a country where people seem to share negativity or fake story. They give more attention to it. For instance, uh, let's say I'm a blogger. I mean, I don't belong to those circles. But you do a story, a very positive content, and you share about an artist. And most of the fans and the artists themselves generally don't want to even pay attention to it. But let's say you go and uh, blog a negative, I mean, quote-unquote, a negative story about an artist, and they, they, they seem to throw more light on it for their fans to know. So why, I mean, how can we balance this whole thing? Is it because the fans also give so much energy to it, or it, it is the bloggers? Um, first of all, I think a lot of people are blogging in this country. They don't understand what blogging is. Mm. I have a problem with a lot of bloggers. They are not bloggers. They are just, even the language is so bad. Mm. They, they write they write as if their brains are on strike. That's how mm. they write. You mm. know, you, you pick up a story and you're reading and it gives me such a headache. And so I don't even pay attention. Um, people write bad things about me. You never mm -hmm. see me going on and on about it. Mm. They write positive things about me. I don't go on and on about it. Uh, because, honestly, I don't have time. I really don't have time for it. Uh, but, of course, there are people, yeah, if you write a positive story about somebody, let's just say that Shatawale, mm. Shatawale de decides today that I am going to s s uh, 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 feed 100,000 mm -hmm. people in Old mm -hmm. Fadama. Mm -hmm. That is a positive story. You write the story and you think people do not care. People have read it, but you find a few people commenting, right? Exactly. And your challenge is that when you do those stories, it doesn't fly as much as the negative one. Yes. And you find this celebrity coming to attack you. You know, when you, when you go to school, and I, I didn't go to a journalism school, so, but I know for a fact that when a dog bites a man, it is not news. But when a man bites a dog, that is news. Um, when it bleeds elites that is the basic principle of journalism when it bleeds it leads. Uh, so for instance if you're watching a news bulletin and there's been an accident and 55 people are dead and then there's another story of someone planting flowers to give people excitement in their homes because they've lost all hope so this person thinks that planting roses or sending them roses will bring them such you know bliss when I'm starting a bulletin, I'll start the bulletin with the 40 people who died. Because that is news. Right? Okay? And so when you write something positive about Shatawali, and people are not going on and on about Shatawali, it is because that is what should be. That is the right thing. That is what we think should be happening in our world. Right? But if you hear that if somebody writes a story and says that Sakodye has just kicked somebody or slapped somebody at circle. We all think that, oh, how could Sakodye do that? So we all get upset. Meanwhile, it probably didn't happen that way. You know, it didn't happen. Sakodye didn't slap anybody. Sakodye has every right to come and deal with you because you are tarnishing his reputation. You're tarnishing his image. Whereas if Sakodye releases his song, the new one and you write about it yeah it is out it's a good song we are all singing the 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 the, the song so sakodia cannot say oh kobe has written something nice let me go and make noise no the least he can do is to say thank you right but if you publish something negative about him he has everywhere because for instance sakodia has built a reputation for so long and even me nanaba i will not allow anybody to to, to stain sakodia's reputation if i see it i'll be very upset I won't allow it. And this is just me. It's not Sakodia himself. You know, I won't be happy. Because I'm a fan of Sakodia. I love Sakodia to bits. So if I see anybody trying to uh, destroy Sakodia, I get really upset. It's the same way I feel when I see people trying to destroy Shatawali. Because Shatawali is a very good person. He's a very kind person. You know, very lovely person. Unless, of course, the people have done exactly what they're being accused for. And that I will be the first person to call them and say that, you were wrong on this front. You need to apologize for this. You know. Like when his photographer slapped me. 
I spoke to Shata. I spoke to Shata. I spoke to I even spoke to the, I even spoke to the photographer. But I we spoke about it. No. You you told me you come back to me. And I never did. But no, I spoke no. to the photographer about it. Don't worry, we'll talk about it. Yeah. No, we'll talk about it another day. It's not this is not a platform for Right. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Now, Nana. Uh -huh. Now, uh, I want you on one platform, and you, you said... Babi, ba Babi Dapa is writing a lot, eh? Babi. Babi. <laughs> is she Babi or Baby Dapa? Babi, Baby Dapa, Baby, Baby, baby. Dapa. Baby. I like to call her Babi. She looks like a Babi. She looks like a doll. Uh, Babi, you don't know Babi? You don't know a mm. Babi? Get your daughter a Babi. Ah, uh, Mate. Mate, why? As well as see any of them, Hey, okay, Nana, let's go. Nana, yeah. hmm. Now, I watch you on one platform, and um, you made mention say most of uh, the bloggers in Ghana know Edia and Nanaba and Amoet Beach, Nanaba and Nanaba and Amoet Spotted at the beach, maybe drinking Sobolo. Lydia Forsen, Sandra and Kobia Spotted, or I've been telling you know, my, that is what I'm, I, I say that people blog and call themselves bloggers. Listen, I have respect for only five bloggers in Ghana, only five bloggers. Me too. Why not? Why not? Oh, you are one of them. I know you. Uh, don't worry. Another time. I have respect for only five bloggers in Ghana, and I think they are doing proper blogging. The rest, oh my goodness, they won't. They won't learn the ropes of the job. They don't even read. Either they don't read or they don't just understand comprehension. They. they they don't know what they are writing. They don't know it. I don't know how to put it. So, for instance, let's say uh, Baby Dapa or Sandra and Kobia goes to the beach and she posts a picture of herself on her page. And then you, the blogger, calling yourself a blogger. At, number one, the word blogger has even been abused, but that's for another day. So, you go and take the picture <laughs> from... You go and take the picture from Baby Dapa's page, right? She posted it all. Then you mm -hmm. take the picture from her page. Then you post it on your page as a story. And you say, Baby Dapa spotted at the beach. Why is the sense in that? Spotted means that... I don't know. I don't know. picture at all. What's a spotted? She said, I said, But I'm not going to then you say spotted at the beach. What, what, is, is it the English that is so hard to understand? Me try me photo. Me di abetu o. To say me nise wey di soakings. I put the story on my page, and then somebody downloads the video. Nana ba and say wa me here caught drinking Gary soakings. Caught drinking drinking Gary soakings. He caught you. He caught you. Yeah. Are you are you bra bra bravely foolish? Is that is that what you are? That mm. Nana Ba and Sewa caught drinking soakings. And I'm thinking, ah, caught. What is wrong with you? I don't get it. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't get that. That, that. That's my challenge with a lot of them. But again, there are bloggers in this country who do exceptionally well. They write well. When they do, I tell them. As for the crappy ones, th those ones, I don't even mind them. I, I, what I, can I, we do to improve it? I mean, can you share some knowledge? I mean, what can we do basically to help... Uh, put out good content and I mean nice stuff. Out I don't there. think they are interested in putting out good content. Oh, I don't think they are interested in. That. I'm sure they are young um, bloggers. I mean, young uh, aspiring bloggers. Oh, for the young, people. for the young ones aspiring to be bloggers, yeah, I'll, I'll, I will say, I will say that there are online courses. Some of them free. You know, I do a lot of, I do a, a lot of short, short courses online. A lot of them that I do are free because I love to invest in myself. Because if you don't invest in yourself, you never get better. I like to invest because I always want to learn. I always want to be a step ahead. I always want to be relevant. You know, so you need to learn. You need to learn the ropes. Take up short courses on blogging. It maybe you don't have the money, but there are free, free, free online courses on blogging. Free online courses on everything that you want to do. Fortunately for this generation, thanks to the internet, you can get everything. It's information at your fingertips. All you have to do is go to, to your phone, your gadget. But what you, I realize is that 
a lot of people are losing their smartness to smartphones. There is no way in this world that your phone, right? My phone should be smarter than me. I use wow. my money to buy my phone. The, the phone should not be smarter than me. But that is why you find these days that smartphones are getting smarter than some people. And that's, that's not right. That, that cannot be tolerated. Now, I've seen people trolling you on social media, coming at you with a lot of comments. How do you feel when you're going through such comments? I don't feel anything. That's what I told you. I don't see them. So, no, are you telling me that you don't read comments? Me? Listen, post? let me tell you what I do. So, for mm -hmm. instance, if I go on Twitter and I see trends, and I see my name there, mm -hmm. I don't even bother to go and hit on it and see what people are writing. On. Because me, every minute lost is disastrous to me. I don't enjoy frolicking in foolishness. I don't enjoy it. I don't like frolicking like that. I don't like it. So I don't read them. I don't see them. Unless you are brave. And a lot of them are not brave enough to tag me. They can't tag me. They are not brave enough to tag me. Because if you tag me and I see it, I will respond in either equal or worse measure. So I notice that people don't like to tag me when they are writing their nonsense. Because if you tag me and you say that you call me a shawo, my response to you may probably end your life immediately. You will not come on social media again. Now, you know, because... How many people have you blocked on, on Twitter? How, how, how many oh, so, so many. So many. I block them not because I hate them. I block them because I feel they don't, they, their brains don't work well. And I can't engage with people like that. I can't engage with that. Um, you know, if you come on my page and we are having an intellectual discourse and mm -hmm. because you are losing, you say, oh yeah, you are an ashawu, you are a prostitute. What do you expect? I'll just block you. Because I realize that why being a new you still need have a lot of learning to do. So I'll block you. I, I, oh, I will, I will block you immediately. No, no, and I, no, no. I don't have a problem blocking people. Though. The block really? button was, oh no, the block button, you think Jack who invented Twitter or Zuckerberg, who in in invented uh, Facebook and has now bought Instagram, they were so stupid to add a block button. They put the block button for a reason. I will block you. In any case, you don't feed me, I don't feed you. If you don't see my tweets, it doesn't take anything away from you. It doesn't add it. People say that then they, they will be naked. Nanaba has blocked me. Nanaba has blocked me. So what? Are you losing money because Nanaba has blocked you? And they got so furious when they noticed that you blocked them. And I don't know why. And I don't care. I honestly do not care. I think what people f fail to see about me is that I do not care. I don't care. But you, you must care. No, 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 no. You I must don't. care. No, don't I don't. Have feelings. Don't you have feelings? I have feelings. I don't have foolish feelings. <laughs> I don't have foolish feelings. I mean, if, no, if, well, we have if, foolish feelings. Yeah. There are foolish feelings. <laughs> foolish feeling will be you coming to call me. Uh, uh, <laughs> coming to call me a shower, and then I will spend the next ten minutes engaging with you. I don't know, that, that's foolish. I, I don't have time. I don't have time for that. I, I'm, I, unless I don't know. I, I don't know what will make me stoop so low to mm. engage with somebody whose brain has completely gone bonkers. I can't. I can't do that. I can't do that. I. 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 I feel the moment you call, and sometimes. Some of these people I have blocked in, they didn't even attack me. They didn't even come. Mm -hmm. If I see, for instance, one time I blocked like 10 people on Twitter because I saw them insulting Lydia Forsen. Wow, not you. Not, not you. not me. Not me. They were insulting Lydia Forsen. And I was wondering, what did Lydia do to deserve this unwarranted attacks? And they were insulting mm -hmm. Lydia's mother, insulting Lydia's father. And I saw it, I was wondering, ah, what is going on? So I went through the tweet and I saw exactly what Lydia had tweeted. And Lydia just shared her opinion on something. If you disagree, and we must learn to, you know, disagree to agree or agree to disagree, whatever it is. And mm. you, if you disagree with L Lydia, there is an intellectual way or a, a nice way to go about it. You don't insult the, the young lady's parents because mm. she disagreed with you. And I realized that these were people that were following me and I was also following them. Wow. So I don't know. Th 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 these are not people I want to be associated with at all. So immediately I blocked them. What I keep saying is that you don't lose anything if Nanaba, Sewa, Lydia, 
or anybody blocks you or Sandra blocks you. You don't lose anything. You don't lose anything. You don't know me from Adam. You don't know me. You know me by, you know, virtue, virtue of the fact that I appear on your TV or I'm always on your timeline. You're not obliged to follow me. And so somebody will say, eh, Lydia Forsen has that. I'm going to unfollow her. If you unfollow Lydia Forsen, what, what does she lose? If you unfollow me, what do I, I don't lose anything. You know, you follow people because you believe these people will add something to you. That is why I keep telling young people that don't just hit the follow button. When you're following people, make sure that these people are making a positive impact on you. If the person is not making a positive impact on you and you're just a fanatic of them, that is fine. It's, it's, it's different, you know. For instance, I follow Sarkodie. I don't follow Sarkodie because Sarkodie's tweets will add anything to my life. I follow Sakodie because I'm a fanatic of Sakodie. I follow mm. Shatawale because I love Shatalopo, Shatawale to bits. And mm. Shatawale's tweets will not add anything to me. If I decide to unfollow Shatawale or Sak today, it will not change the love I have for them. It will be because I probably don't like the way they tweet. I don't like the things they tweet. So I'll decide mm. to unfollow them. But mm. I don't lose anything from unfollowing them. My love for them doesn't go anywhere. You know, so I, I me, mean, I will block you if I, I find you a nuisance. I will block you. The 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 block button is there for a reason. If it wasn't needed, it wouldn't be there. Once it's there, somebody thought of it, and it has to be used. Amazing, interesting conversation today. Interesting. I mean, I'm sure people are learning. Uh, the comments come in very positive impact. Uh, you are really inspiring people. Now, Nana, you have a huge following on social media, and you have a lot of people. Who admire you? Are you going to wake up one day seeing Nana Abanamwa go into politics? I don't know. Never say never. I don't know. But have you had a thought about it? Sorry? Have you had a thought about it? Like going into no. politics or never? No. 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 